All right, guys, we're going to do a quick video on the coordinate plane. I think you all worked with it um, last year. You've kind of done it, but you've only worked with one quadrant. And I'll kind of talk to you about that in just a second. So um, you have a notes page. So go ahead and um, look at that notes page. So let me just talk to you first about number lines. We've worked with number lines that are horizontal that look like this and some that are vertical that look like this. Okay. So on a number line, we've mostly worked with positive numbers, but you have to know there's also negatives, okay? Um, so a coordinate plane is just putting them together. It's putting them together, a vertical and a horizontal number line together, all right? So on your notes page, this, these things have been kind of written out for you. So this line here that is horizontal, this is my horizontal axis or my x-axis. The one that goes up and down or vertical, that is my y-axis. And where they come together, that is called the origin. That's where we're always going to start with. We're always going to start at the origin. Okay. All right. So we can do a couple things. We can graph points on the coordinate plane, or we can also identify points. All right. So the one thing you need to know, and this is on your notes, okay, when you break, when you use these vertical axes, it breaks it into four different parts. These are called quadrants. These are called quadrants. So this is quadrant one. So on your notes, it says label them. This is quadrant one, and we label them with Roman numerals. I don't know why, we just do. This is one, this is two, three, and this is four, okay? A good way to remember it, this is how I remember it, the order, because it does kind of go backwards, is this is called the coordinate plane. That's a C, so one, two, three, four. That's how you would make a C. You would go that direction. Okay. Um, so that is your quadrants. Like I said, you all have mostly been only working in quadrant one because those are all positive numbers. This year, we're going to work on all three. Okay. So let's talk about how we actually plot points on number line. You are given what's called an ordered pair. So in this case, it's four, three, oops, four, three. And they put a comma between them and parentheses around them, okay? That first number that they give you, that represents your X value. The second is your Y value, okay? So remember, when we have that, um, the axis, this is my X axis, this is my Y axis. So that first number, that tells you how far to go left, okay? Either um, left or right, depending on if it's a positive or negative. If it's a positive number, you're gonna go to the right. If it's a negative number, you're gonna go to the left. That second number is your Y value. If it's positive, you're gonna go up. If it's negative, you're gonna go down, okay? So in this case, four, three, I go over four. And when I say over, you kind of, you skip, like you go one, two, three, four, and then you count up one, two, three. Now they've done lines. You don't do lines. You just put the point there. And if you'll notice that point, where four, three is, it is where those two lines meet. It's not in the box, it's where they meet. So let's do a little practice with some um, graphing. Let's do some practice, right? So remember the first point's gonna tell you right or left. So if I look at this one, three, six. So I'm always gonna start at the origin, okay? Three, six. That means I'm gonna go over three. One, two, three. Then the second number tells me up or down. If it's positive, I go up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I would put my point, do you see how it's right where they come together? And I would label it with my A. Okay, I'm gonna do B. B is two, negative five. So I'm gonna go, start with zero, origin. So I'm gonna go over two, one, two, then negative five. Negative five would go down, would go down. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that would be my B value. C is negative three, four. So I'm gonna start here, negative three. Ooh, my negative numbers would go this direction. Because if you think about a number line, my negative numbers are this way, okay? So I'm gonna go negative three. One, two, three, and then positive four. So up four, one, two, three, four. That's my C value. And then my D is negative two, negative one. So I'm gonna go negative one, two, and negative one, negative right there. So that's D, okay? 
So would you go back up to your, where it says label the quadrants? I want to kind of label this as well. It, on quadrant one, your X value and your Y value will always be positive. So write that in there. Your X and Y is always positive. If you come over here to quadrant two, your X value, because we go this way, your X value is going to be negative, but your Y value going up will be positive. Okay, so it'll look like this, a negative then a positive. If you go to quadrant three, quadrant three is the worst all. Oh, it's negative, negative. So it is a negative, negative quadrant. See, it doesn't even look sad. And then quadrant four would be a positive X value, but a negative Y. So a positive X, but a negative Y. So make sure you write those in your notes. Okay. All right, let's do some more practicing. So I'm going to do this one. Let me see if this was the one. I'm going to start with this one, okay? All right, so A is 1, 4. So start at the origin. Again, always start at the origin. So remember, your first value tells you right, left. Your second value tells you up or down, okay? So positive 1, this would be this direction. 1, oops, sorry. Over 1, don't draw lines. Over 1, and then up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then put your number on there. B. Over three, one, two, three, but negative two. So negative two is down below one, two. That's B. C is negative five, negative five. So start here. Negative five would be this direction. So one, two, three, four, five. And negative five would be going down. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I got to go one more. Five, negative five. That's C. And then the next one is 1, 0 over 1, and then I don't go anywhere. So this actually ends up being on the axis, which is fine, which is fine, okay? All right, I want you on your paper, you'll see you have one, um, and I want you to do these. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to take off the fraction here. We don't really need the fraction here. We're okay with that. Let me see if we'll take it off. Okay, so I want you to do these, E, F, G, and H. I want you to pause the video and come back when you have them on your paper. All right, check those out. See if you got them. At least see if they're in the right quadrant. I'm sure if you counted them, you got them in the right place. Okay. All right. Try. Ta -ta -ta -ta. All right. Try those. Okay. Try those. Pause the video. And come back when you have your answer. All right. You are doing those on the same uh, same coordinate plane as the others. Okay. All right. Check those answers. All right, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to identify places. So if you look at this, you're going to be able then to, you tell me where these things are located. So if I look, I want to find the house. So here's the house. Again, you're starting here. So I'm going to figure out what are the coordinates. One, two, three. So I'd have to go over three. And then I would have to go up one, two, three, four, five. I'd have to go up five. Okay, all right, I want you to write down school, library, just write the first initial, S, L, M, and F. And I want you to write down what are the coordinates of those. Pause the video and come back when you have your answers. All right, check those answers. <clears throat> all right, remember, uh, kind of looking at the coordinates again, remember, this is a positive, positive. So that might help you. This is a negative, positive. So it kind of help you. If you are looking at the mall, it should have a negative number and a positive. Yep, it does, a negative and a positive. Remember, quadrant three is negative, negative, and quadrant four is positive, negative. So if you are, the library should have a positive and a negative. Yep, it does. Okay? All right, kiddos, the last thing that we're going to look at is distance on a coordinate plane. If I want you to find the distance between two points, all you have to do is count. One two, three, four. So the distance between these is four. Down here, the distance, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the last thing. All right, I've got something for you to work on. So if you have any questions on those, let me know, but have a great day, kids.